Uh, welcome to my studio. Today we're going to talk about the uh, uh, landscaping with a level perspective in color. I'm going to start with the tree first. So I use dark ink. Go over the all the branch and the, the, the trunk. So just a, it's almost like a, with the black and the white. You use the dark ink first. Get the day. I'm doing is so they supposed to be peach and a plum tree because this have a flower come up in the springtime. Then use a medium ink to make a little bit of the skin, you know, just to try to get the skin. Because it's always an even skin. Then you use dark ink to the small branches. Add up the young branches. So for the flower tree, I use a lighter ink. I'm just going to put in some here. That's a flower tree. So now the tree is down. Now do the slopes. So the, the one in the front, you use a dark ink. Dark ink with a dry brush. The side brush. Then just use the lighter ink we do the ink. Like the short fire and amber shading, and the with the little further away, I use the middle little lighter ink. Same thing, just use the side brush. Also the further away one.
we saw us to the grass. You use a dark ink to the to the find the one. So now I'm going to start uh, uh, coloring. Uh, first, I come to color the tree. So the tree, I ha still have to use the night ink to read up the shading first, because I I I go through them first with colors. So I'm going to. And for the far away one, you can just uh, do the lemon branch, main trunk. Also, I have a little bridge there. So in between the slopes, I'm going to put a little bridge to collect together. And also the other one, you have to put, put a little bit of brown color on it. Then for the uh, flower on the tree, pink color. So that means uh, you mix up the red with, uh, with white. Just make it up. Good to follow us so far away, so we just make it up. And then for the two small one, I'm just going to use the white dot. The leaves for the close to you. You use uh, like a bluish green, more 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 indigo, more indigo mix combo, become bluish green. Same thing you just study. Next one, uh, part the white. Shading first. So let use light ink. Do the do the black and white shading first. Okay. When you do this shading, then you start. You do in the crowd. That's why very important for the black white shading. And also this this can be the fog.
So I'm going to do this one first. The front is really is darker, so you can talk to go over almost two times. Something here you can do the water. So this down, then we're going to do color the mountain, the rock. So start from the top. Use a very light, very light uh, green with a little bit of stone green. Then right away, you use very light uh, brown color. Light green with stone green. And the brown to the bottom. So this part. Now, now I'm going to turn over the paper to the other one. to the wash. Then I use a uh, use a lighter green with a uh, stone green to do the top. And then light brown to the bottom. Since I turned them over, so I may was use the to the water. Use light blue to the water.
Ja, man kann die so Brake ink. Just light ink. Then put the uh, wash into a little water. Then you use your brush like a brush like this to to draw the frog. To do the frog buggy, you know. This way you add up the inches of what they you can see more flower more better. So do a little more 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 frog. Frog, frog and the cow, they all mix it together. Sometimes you can look over and see which way you want to add something. So this is just the basic steps. Of course, you can improve a lot. You think more, then practice more. I just show you that by basic steps how we do a color painting, color landscape painting. You almost like do two paintings: one black and the white, and the one at the color. Next session, I'm going to show you the, the another perspective. I'm going to do the waterfall, which will be high perspective. So I hope you enjoyed this session, and I see you next session. Thank you for coming.